Gisada tacos, y'all, homemade, honey, with my cilantro lime sauce. Marshall has the same thing. Who wants a yummy bite? Oh, wait, it's gonna be good. What's up, yummy biters? Welcome back to another episode of Yummy Bites TV. Happy freaking Taco Tuesday, y'all. We are having tacos, but they're different. And if you want to know how I made them, uh, go over to my uh, family vlog channel at Young Bikes TV behind the scenes. It's linked in my bio. Uh, I mean, this, the description. <laughs> anyway, I'm drinking water today. Uh huh. Yes, y'all. Mm -hmm. mm. Delicious. Uh, Where's y'all? Obviously, drinking water too, and a little coconut water as well. Sure, sure. <clears throat> wow. Okay, let's pray. Let's go to best food we give thanks. Amen. All right. Lord, let these be good, Jesus. Okay. Ooh. All right. Carne, carne glissada tacos, y'all. I got the meat from the grocery store. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Oh, my God. Mm-mm. <gasps> Mm-mm. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. That follow your heart. Cheddar cheese is banging. Mmm. This is a mess. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious, y'all. Mmm. <clears throat> Mm. Mm hmm. Uh oh. <laughs> if y'all are looking for vegan cheese that melts good, follow your heart. Okay. Follow your heart to follow your heart. Okay. They have good. Uh, I use mozzarella and I use cheddar cheese. Their shreds on these tacos. Oh my god. Mercio didn't get any uh, cheese. He just wanted meat. On here. Mmm. The meat came seasoned? Mm-hmm. Well, I seasoned it, too. How you do that? I added extra seasoning. Shit, I did that. Why? It's over seasoned. It's too much. It, okay. <laughs> well, I'm sorry you don't like it. I can't even, it's too salty and all of that. <clears throat> it's just too much. I can't even enjoy that. Damn. Well, I'm sorry you can't enjoy it. Yeah, it's good to me. <laughs> like, real good. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. Mm. The meat is seasoned very well. Mmm. I guess I ain't been eating a lot. You know what I'm saying? I've been just like, I ain't having no appetite. I just drank fruit juice and... Well, maybe you shouldn't have ate. Well, maybe that's what's wrong with so his I'm, taste buds. <clears throat> so I'm, being being. No, yeah, so I'm like really detecting. Uh, it's like when you used to eating a lot of seasoning, you be like used to it. It's like normal. But when you step away from it for a while and you come back, it's like, wow, it's a punch and kick on the tongue. You yeah, know that can definitely happen. Like it's overload. But not that's, and it's unhealthy. And I mean, the more I mm -hmm. learn about how... How, you know what I'm saying? We killing ourselves with the stuff we eat is like killing my appetite. You know what I'm saying? All I taste is so high sodium. Well, why you just didn't 
Damn. Say you didn't want to eat. It ain't that I didn't want to eat. You didn't have to eat. <laughs> I would have ate. I mean, I need to eat, you know? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Y'all so good. I feel like it's one of the best tacos I made. That's yeah, some good meat. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. That is too good. Mmm. Uh-uh. Y'all just falling all over the place. My God. Mmm. <clears throat> it's pico, pico de gallo. It's so good. With this sauce. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. Mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> What's on the chopping block today? Well, I'm trying to eat. I thought you'd be eating. Can I have a napkin, please? Another one. You can have it in a row. <clears throat> oh, you, um. Oh boy. <clears throat> I mean, you, are you without anything to talk about? I had a feeling that he wasn't <clears throat> going to like him. I just, I don't know. I be knowing stuff. And I had a feeling that he was not going to enjoy these tacos. Just because I just had that feeling. You know what I'm saying? Oh, come on, say something now. Y'all totally freaking forgot. <clears throat> Now, I would have torn them up if they weren't overseas. Well, they're not. Just, no, but they are. You don't, they're not. You don't, you're not detecting it, but they they're are. They're not. It's no. because you haven't been eating. And that's how I'm able to detect it. They're not overseas. <clears throat> they're daggone good. I wish I had somebody else here to taste it for y'all. I mean, banging. That's mm. just dangerous. I don't even do that to myself. Like, mm. It's not good to eat that much salt. Mm. Are you done? Sugar needs Talking about how salty it is? Because I think they understand that you think that they're No, salty. I'm just saying, like, you know. Mmm. We got to not let our taste buds lead us to an early grave. Our craving for delicious taste on our tongue. You know what I'm saying? Well, Plus just because you feel like day. it's salty doesn't mean that I have to feel like it's salty. Just like... I think it's good, and you don't like it. So we can disagree or disagree. I don't feel like they're salty. They're delicious to me. <clears throat> That's why I'm eating them. Because trust me, if they were too salty, I wouldn't be eating them. I'd be like, dang, they are too salty. But y'all, oh my God, it's so good to me. Mmm. <clears throat> Literally too good. And I'm gonna add some tobacco. So let, let us know what y'all eating. Look up that lady, since you ain't doing nothing. Look at that, look up that lady who, um, neighbor shot her. Um, I forgot where it was. You hear about that? No. Mmm. A woman got shot by her neighbor. Mmm. Mmm. Let me tell y'all something. I told the blog already. Mmm. Since my fast, I've been doing, um, like, no dairy and, like, low, like, carbs. Like, low dairy. Because I think there was, uh, like, some dairy in that semi-sweet uh, chocolate. Um, when I made those, uh, bars, um, but anyway, y'all, I lost all that weight I told y'all I gained, excuse me, all of it, it's, it's gone bye-bye, I'm like, oh my god, this is it, I'm, I've either been eating once or twice a day, I eat, um, 
after 12 and before uh, 7 or 8, okay? And I've been really strict with it. I haven't been eating after that. Haven't been eating at 3 o'clock in the morning. None of that, y'all. Um, I um, saw a video that said that exercising does not make you lose weight. It's eating right. Um, they said exercising maintains the weight loss. But you have to eat right. It's like no getting around it. And that's what I've been trying to do, y'all. I've been trying to get around it. And it's just not working. But what I'm doing now is, okay? Mmm. Mmm. So, that's what I'm going to be trying my best to do. Is do low carbs and little to no dairy. Mmm. Thank God I found a cheese substitute. Because that is the hardest. I heard that that's the hardest when people are trying to do like no non dairy. Is the cheese. Here we go. Here we go. Listen to this story, y'all. About this um, young lady who lost her life. And we're going to talk some more about the Travis um, Rudolph case, y'all. He got on the stand. I don't have all the parts to it, but he got on the stand, y'all. And people are putting the parts up, like, right now as we speak. Here we go. This is one of the family members um, of this lady. You know, I usually only post on TikTok for shits and giggles. Listen. But today's different because last night my cousin was unalived by her racist white neighbor in front of her children over a tablet. Over a tablet. And the police arrested her and released her with no charges. So here we are. Um, around 9 o'clock last night, um, my cousin was unalived and it, and it started because there's this demented woman who lives in their community who allegedly harasses all the children of that community because they live in duplexes and there's an area where it's grassy and that all the kids go out there to play all the time. And this woman... She thinks that it's her property. Even though they live in a duplex. Now, she may own hers. I don't know. But this patch of grass, she says, she owns it and she don't want none of the kids on that grass. Okay? And feels like that piece of grass is hers. So she harasses the kids. She records them. She causes them trouble. Um, according to one of the neighbors... They have over 20 reports of calling in on her for harassing these kids. That's very important. Mm. So we need to last night around seven o'clock, all the kids in the community were outside playing and my cousin's son left his tablet in that area. He went back to go get his tablet and the woman had taken it. Mm. He comes home and tells her about what happened so my cousin's like, okay, well, let me go talk to the woman, try to get your tablet back. She knocks on the woman's door. The woman opens the door and just shoots her right there in front of him. What? No question. She's asked. Are you kidding me? I also no question. like to point out that this woman does have surveillance on her property. You know, me in the ring camera, I can see who comes to my door, talk to them through the camera. You know, I don't know what type of camera she has, but she does have surveillance on her property, meaning that she saw who was there. She knows that this is a neighbor and she still decided to do that in front of these children and other children were still outside at the same time so essentially my cousin died there bleeding out they the neighbors who came out to help her try to give her cpr to the M emt got there they picked her up she was pronounced dead at the hospital this woman was arrested taken in for questioning and then they let her go home they're gone according to some of the neighbors she was actually having coffee on her porch this morning as if it didn't fucking matter and i feel like Ocala Sheriff's Office is trying to quietly sweep this under the rug. It has not gotten any immediate attention because it's still very fresh. But it has. They did a... Um, this must be a white woman. I'm sure it is. Um, they did a... What do you call it? A conference? Is this it? So I just finished watching the press conference with the Marion County press Sheriff's conference. Department in regard to Ajike Owens's shooting death. So here are a couple of the takeaways from the press conference in regards to the case. 
The pieces of the puzzle are put together so that we can come to justice, and that's what we will come to at the conclusion of this is justice. Now, what's on your minds is what occurred that night. Here's what I can tell you. As we know that this has basically been a neighborhood feud over time, I've got reports mm. that these things have, they've called one side or the other, either the mother, Ms. Owens, has called or a shooter has called, mm. complaining about the children. Now, his children being children. Many of y'all have heard me talk about as being a father, having my own kids. Here's oh. what I wish. I wish our shooter would have called us instead of taking actions into her own hands. I wish Mrs. Owens would have called us in hopes we could have never got to the point in which we are here. But why would the lady whose child's tablet got taken call the police? Why would she do that? You know, she went over there like a I mean, neighbor should. Because it was theft. And... It was there. She was going over there to get her child's tablet back. And then I heard, because there's different stories going around. I heard that, this, let me tell y'all, let me show y'all this story. Because this this is how you could tell that, you know, people be getting different information. And you don't know what information is true. You just don't know. Here we go again. This Somebody is GK AJ Owens. And on Friday, June the 2nd, she was shot to death by her neighbor. I don't see the neighbor. Ben Crump was now representing the family. AJ's children were playing in a field next to an apartment Shot complex. Shot through the door? A, neighbor, a white woman yeah. came out and started yelling yeah. at the children. She allegedly screamed at the children to get off her property and called them racial slurs. Yes! At the children to get off her property and called them racial slurs. Are you kidding me? Now, see, this person said that, you know, she yelled at them, told them to get off her property and called them racial slurs. I hadn't heard that. But this person is saying that that's what happened. You never know. Like, they might know somebody who, you know, who who knows. But this that's what this person is saying. Um, so, <clears throat> listen. She left one of their iPads behind. When the children went back to the woman's home to retrieve the iPad, she allegedly threw the device, cracking it, and hitting one of the boys in the process. And that's another thing that wasn't said, that... Um, she hit him with whatever it was. What was it that she hit him with? With the iPad. Oh, she with the iPad. That's the first time I heard that. And so you, so, so that would happen. So you know, so she, yeah, you know, she was coming over there to. <laughs> Do you think that's what it was? That's why she possibly um did that. Yeah, that sounds like most sense. Like if you know you just did that, and now he you come now you got this black mama, this mama bear His coming. Mama's mad. And yeah, you, very yeah, upset. You scared, and you know that you can't but defend yourself. That lady didn't. Ha the lady was on the other side of the door. The door was closed. So why do that? She could like the officer said she should have called the police. Exactly. Yeah, they okay. need to lock the lady her ass up. who was scared obviously they need because to lock she her ass shot her, up. but. Yeah, she go. She's gonna go down for this one. She she got to go down for I this. I want to see her. They don't have any pictures of her. How old is she? She went across the street. And then in the conference, did you? I mean, the um, press conference. Didn't you hear the sheriff uh, calling her the shooter? They didn't even say her name. Yeah, they are trying to protect. They trying to protect. Yeah, you already they're know. They're trying to protect her. This place that we in, that. boy, I tell you, it ain't nothing but a cesspool of evil and snakes. I didn't even think of that. But everybody over there is going to know who who it is, you know? They're going to probably be over there protesting in her in those uh, duplexes, I'm sure. But thank God she has representation. Um, and yeah, and hopefully she will get justice. Um, I'm sure uh, since, you know, like tomorrow when I put this video up, there's going to be more updates. But these, this is the information that I know now. Now, I also want to say this. In my last video, I said that Usher's mom died of um, uh, surgery. Anyway, I meant to say Kanye, okay? And I know a lot of y'all corrected me, but y'all had to know that was just a mistake. You know, y'all know I make mistakes sometimes and I... You know, so I'm sorry about that, but that I, I just misspoke. Anyway, um, right here you will speak nothing of this. Um, yeah. Um, 
because somebody was there talking about um report her now. She, I'm like that is just ridiculous. Oh my God. Just ridiculous. Like yeah, my my people know that I meant to say Kanye's mama, but anyway, um, and just know when I talk about stuff like. Um, I might not have the update that you have by the time you get the video. So just know that also. How about you go fuck um, yourself? Yeah. How about that shit? Well, you, what? Just bleep that part out, you know? Like, cause fuck these people. They, you you know, like, they always got something to say. Oh like, you know, like, for real. I don't like to edit like, my real. videos. Fuck y'all. And it's you know that. Like, hey, fuck you and your Jesus ass, bitch. Christ. Anyway. <sighs> That's great. Um... Okay, so Travis got on the stand today, and the prosecution was basically, they were, come to, come to find out, his ex-girlfriend, like, she been beating on him. Like, Wait. she been beating on this man. Beating on him? Yes. For Valentine's, they were oh, talking they, about. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, yeah. They were talking oh, about with uh, Valentine's, one Valentine's, and she felt like he didn't do enough for her. He didn't go into um, detail what he had done for her. At least I haven't seen it yet. What but she, um, she... Girl is a I have physical the, um, abuser. She yeah. sure is. There's something wow. really wrong with her. Here you go. Hold Who on. Look them brothers and just you, too goddamn tough. Oh, no. That's his brother. I just... His brother was on the stand wow. too. Did it not? I'm saying that was just like a freak, like you know, one, you know, he just, you know, hey, he did call out her name, you know, out of, you know, wow, she was doing that on the regular. That's crazy. Oh my god, y'all! It didn't save. I saved both of those. I, it didn't up. save. Anyway, <laughs> so um, apparently, um, I believe that was. Uh, maybe the first time that she hit him is um, for Valentine's when she said that he didn't do enough for her. Anyway, so when the prosecution was um, was up there and they was they were questioning him, they were basically trying to say that he uh, started um, shooting when the car was leaving, and he was trying to tell them no. Uh, you see clearly, because he was obviously saying something else. You know what I'm saying? He was saying that, no, the the car was facing towards me when I was um, shooting. They were saying that, that the uh, tail lights were um, shining towards him when he started. Um, sh they, they were leaving when he started um, shooting. Um, so... Like you can't find no shot. He said that he was there and he's like, that's not, you know, what happened. But he ended up um, saying, yes, ma'am, or whatever. I guess he, I don't know, just wanted to, I don't know, stop well, talking about that. I don't wow, know. he let her but put some words in his No, he, he, he said what he said. Mm. He said what he said. It's on record. But um, but it was, it's, it's been a lot of lies that came from, uh, the other side, remember they were saying that they did not have any, any guns. Come to find out they had two. They finally admitted it. You know, just lying in court. Lying mm -hmm. to my, um, the, he, one of them said that they dumped it, dumped the gun because, um, because he was scared, uh, that, you know, when the police came, um, they were going to think that he was, um, shooting, that he was the shooter when he wasn't. And um, what else? My God. But they were lying on that stand, like straight up lying. And old girl, um, what's her name? Dominique. You know, the whole time she been real cold. So she explained herself and she kind of started crying and said that she um, knows that all of this is her fault. She literally said that she, she said knows. That yeah, she did. She said she knows that this is what? her fault. She feels very, very guilty about it. And, you know, don't think that she said that she doesn't wear her feelings on her shoulder. Um, and um, that's why she seems so cold. Because, oh, my God, every nobody likes her. Like, when you look in the comments, everybody is talking about her and the way she's acting. And um, But she can't take back the way she was acting in that courtroom, though. No, no, she cannot take yeah, that back. Too late. Um, 
she said how much she loved uh, Travis and like she wasn't saying it past tense either. She said that, you know, she hates that he's sitting right there. She hates that her brother is, is you know, not here anymore. You know, she kind of started choking up until right when she was choking up about to cry. Somebody said, I think, objection or something, you know, and just interrupted that. And the, and the judge, he wanted to see that. He was like, he had, it sounded like he kind of got frustrated and was like um, overruled. And, and he was like, keep going. Anyway, so y'all really have to watch what is going on. I'm so mad I don't have... Um, Court TV. No, I'm mad that I don't have... Um, what is his name, Travis? We're going to look it up. Rudolph Trial. Let's see. It, you may, uh, is that him? Here you go. Travis Here you go. Yeah, this is a good trial. I don't think I've ever watched a trial, ever. All right, Mr. Rudolph, <clears throat> please say and spell your first and your last name for the record and the jury. My name is Travis Rudolph, T-R-A-V-I-S, last name Rudolph, R-U-D. O L P H. He seems like such a so respectable young man, man, too. Can you tell us? Uh, so sad. Y'all are internet be tripping. Oh, and the weather's bad right now, too, y'all. <clears throat> Come on, baby girl. Why is it tripping? Abusive. So, huh. how long you Female you abusive. Before April 7th of 2021. Uh, I'll say I knew her for about a year. And what was your relationship? Uh, when you characterize it? Yeah. Not after this incident, but I'm talking when you first met her, the mm -hmm. first couple of weeks, first few months, can you characterize your relationship with her? Um, I definitely had a lot of love for her. Uh, we was dealing with each other, but we wasn't officially girlfriend and boyfriend. Because uh, I told her pretty much that I wanted to take my time at really getting to know her. Because everything starts off good and clamor until you, something hits the fan. So I was taking my time with actually getting to make her my girlfriend. Smart. But your lingo may be a little different than mine because you're a different era. What, what does that mean, making someone your girlfriend? I mean, I, that's like an official title. You know what I'm saying? So technically speaking, I still can do me. When I say do me, that's mean talking to other girls, you know what I'm saying, texting, or, mm. yeah, that's pretty much it. Were you ever officially boyfriend or girlfriend? No. Never? No, never. Did, was she upset with you that that wasn't happening? Yes. Of course. I mean, I remember countless times she would break down crying to me, like, why you won't make me your girlfriend? And I told her there's no timetable on making her my girlfriend. And um, that was just my opinion on things, because I feel like it's really not no time. She was with me pretty much every other day, so. Right. It, was your career in football and athletics, was that more important than having a full-time relationship? Yes, most definitely. I was mainly focused on myself. I wanted to get back on my feet. I still had my dreams to go back and play football. So, right. Do you know how Dominique was, support, Dominique was supporting herself to back in, when this case occurred? No, not to my knowledge, no. You had no idea? No. Did she work as far as you knew? No, I don't think she worked. You said that uh, she paid for everything in your relationship. Is that true? No, that's false. She said she paid for everything. <laughs> she had no job. Uh, was she the kind of person that liked expensive gifts? Yes. Did you do that for her at times? Yes, a couple times. Whatever you could afford. Right. Were you having some financial problems uh, after you got injured? Yes. Tell us about that. Um, just the, the funds was getting low pretty much. I mean, that's just what it was. Like... I wasn't receiving any paychecks from the NFL anymore, so. When you when you received your uh, first contract, did you buy anything? Uh, yes, uh, I, I bought a BMW uh, X6. X6, it was a 2017 BMW X6. What is that? And he should have bought a house. Um, it's an SUV, BMW. Does it have any kind of special paint on it? 
Uh, yes, I had got it wrapped. So pretty, pretty much I got it customized and I got like a car wrap on it, a matte black car wrap. And, and you paid for that car? Yes. All right. Yes, full. Is that the only thing you indulge yourself with? Correct. Were, were you and DJ helping your mom with bills since your dad passed? Yes, mostly my brother though at the time. <clears throat> you and Dominique had uh, any problems in your relationship? Look at yes, uh, it originally started from Valentine's Day. Um, she basically said that I did the bare minimum for her on Valentine's Day. So that's what was like the biggest start of things going downhill, I'll say. Was there any violence on Valentine's Day? Yes. Um, she was beating on me, hitting on me, just what she always do, pretty much. He said she it always different do. different that day on Valentine's Day? Yeah. Damn, this look like he's uh, shaking up and shit. He is traumatized wow, she by this girl. Him. And I'm I think he was liking that shit. That. No, yeah. he got used to it. He was liking that shit. He said he loves hard. He said, "Listen, listen. Can you can you let them listen to this? <laughs> listen. I don't know. I guess I love hard. You know, like she did have a significant place in my heart. So, I mean, he just dealt I just with stayed it. with her." Did your brother ever tell you that's not a good idea? Yes, he told me. Why didn't you listen to him? I mean, I just feel like I'm a grown man and I make my own decisions. You know what I'm saying? I feel like her good outweighed the bad. You know what I'm saying? Even after this situation, her good outweighed the bad during that time. After the Valentine's situation? Yes. They your think he's crazy. A little sour after Valentine's Day? Yes. Don't tell us why. What happened? Um, Pretty much, I was pretty much like full time in Miami pretty much to work out. Why? Um, Cause like I said, I, my goals was making sure I was good first. You know what I'm saying? Like, yes, I loved her, but at the same time, I, I wanted to make sure I was good and, and kept, kept pursuing my dreams pretty much. Did you have plans to uh, move in with this young lady and make her your girlfriend? Um, I mean, maybe eventually if things would have went good, I guess, but during that time, I was focusing on going to the Canadian Football League and, you know, having an outstanding, an outstanding year and getting back in the NFL. Did you have any plans to invite Dominique with you to the Canadian Football League? No. I mean, we talked about her coming to a couple games, but that's about it. Is she upset with you leaving? <clears throat> um, she said she didn't want me to go, but I guess it was just her saying that as if, like, she didn't want me to, you know what I'm saying? She's going to miss me pretty much. So you, you, you were with her for about a year. Correct. Um, so was she saying she didn't want you to go because she didn't want you to sell your career or she didn't want you to go because she was going to miss you? Like, she was going to miss me. Okay. He was said nothing bad about her. The NFL? Uh, yes, I mean, she used to tell me that she was, like, proud of me that I to keep pushing forward and, like, working out and everything and pursuing my dreams. After Valentine's Day, what 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 happened after that? Did, did you stop seeing each other? Were you still seeing each other? What happened? Yeah, um, it definitely died down pretty much. Like, um, she had surgery. I remember she had surgery, and uh, after that, Is that uh, cosmetic surgery. Yes. All right, what happened after that? Um, after that, like I said, I was in Miami. Um, I was staying with my best friend at the time, and I was working out at Perform. All right. And was there any conversations uh, about? Her not trusting you? Yes. I mean, she would text me and tell me that she just felt like I wasn't seeing her enough. And she thought that I was in Miami, like, basically messing around with all other girls in Miami. Because he was. Did she know your, your best friend, who's also a football player? Yeah, she knew him. Did you still see her? Y'all, his mama got on the stand, too. His mother. And you'll never believe what Dominique, his ex-girlfriend, sent to his mama. Girl! Like, are you kidding me? A white woman. There she go. Get your son, Travis, because I'm going to have my... It's his mama. I'm going to have my brothers and his friends to come fuck him up and kill him. But I didn't think that she was going to put a hit on him. I... The phone dropped. Or she hung up the phone, so I had texted her. Let me slow you down. When you get that call from her, do you have any idea what was going on? 
No, because she was screaming and hollering and, and, and I couldn't really understand her, but. At his mama, okay? Like, oh my God, how freaking disrespectful. Why, like, why is she even bringing his mama into it? Why is his, does his mom have anything to do with this? But anyway. That's when I text her. Hey, did you try calling her back? No, I didn't call her. I just texted her. What'd you text her? I said, Dominique, I don't know what's going on with you and Travis. I said, but you both are grown. I said, if you all not getting along, you need to move on. I said, I love you like my own daughter. I don't teach my son to be disrespectful. I said, I will talk to Travis, and I will let you calm down, and I will call you later. And then she texts me back and say, he has the wrong one. That's all I'm going to say. He has the wrong Go one? Ahead, mother. Yes. Uh, how were you feeling with when you heard all these uh, threats and uh, he has the wrong one? Get your son, Travis, because I'm going to And he has the wrong one. <laughs> like him and his questions, bro. <laughs> and the way he's saying it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So, anyway, it's ongoing. Mm. This trial is ongoing, y'all. They're going to have to make a movie out of that. Man, everybody <laughs> is saying that. Everybody. Yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Wow. Yeah. So, um Oh, thank God the air turned off. What you cold? Jesus. I'm just, you freezing. You can feel it blowing through that vent even though I didn't closed it. Like it feels good to me. Uh yeah, yeah. So it, it's it's a lot going on. Um what else? So the local what Miami News posted an update on okay. the street. Um, update on, um, why am, oh my God. Oh, somebody in my last video was like, uh, of course DC Young Fly is going to, you know, take his kids. Those are his kids. Why are you doing that to a black man? Because I was like, I hope, I was saying, I hope he, you know, takes his, his kids because you just never know because he works a lot. Even when, you know, she was here, his his baby mom was here, Jackie O. Um, he wasn't there a whole lot. And that's just a fact. I cause I followed them, so I would know. I don't know if you did, whoever that was that commented that. But um, but I did understand where you was coming from because you was kind of like, you know, you should know automatically that you know he's gonna take his kids would you automatically think that he was gonna take his kids if yeah since i mean who would think that somebody not gonna take their three kids and their mama just it's a lot of men like, that don't the grandmother will take them that's true they i'm sorry together? they lived together they did they, a, like, they did like, the, well okay whatever that was just my opinion though y'all gotta understand that too like you know, I, I, I wasn't saying that he wasn't going to take his kids. I was saying, I hope he does. I, you know. Did you mean take him on so, the road with him? Like, what did you no, mean No, I it? hope that he, um, he takes over. Like, he would have to take over and do what she was doing. So he wouldn't be able he to be on the to road find like nanny. that. He's going to obviously have to find a nanny or a new, you know what I'm saying, woman eventually. You know what I'm saying? That's a bitch. A new woman to no, take no. care of his kids. He's all them three little kids. Well, I guess, I them guess, kids right. just look like they all under five for sure. No, that's that's an older picture. That's an older picture. Anyway, so come to find out, like I said, y'all, when I have information, it's information um that I have at that time. So mm -hmm. since then, they said that um she was at a um a hotel and and um, I guess maybe whoever was with her because I know somebody had to travel with her because you have to have somebody with you when you have that type of surgery uh, to take care of you. So what happened? Uh, you know, uh, she was found in, in the um, hotel. Found in the hotel. Yeah, I, somebody called and said she was unresponsive, unresponsive. And that's where they found her. I didn't ever say, Who's even in that last that video, her, I didn't even say where she was found. I just said that she, after the um, the surgery, you know, she she so like, passed we, away. We need a story. Like, you don't, like, so what has somebody had to have been with her? There had to have been some complications. Right, before. we don't know who was with her. We like, don't know any of, any of that right now. 
We don't know none of that right now. How long after the surgery did she die? Nobody knows that. Nobody even know that? No. Not yet. If they haven't told us. Wait, let me let y'all listen. Oh, story. According to a Miami police report, it was just before 10 o'clock Wednesday night when Miami Fire Rescue responded to this hotel on Southwest First Avenue near downtown That's when she Miami. made that post. That's when she went, that, I'm sure she was getting, yeah, she was getting ready to go in there and had that surgery that day when she made that post. Finna go under the knife with Dr. So and so. Remember that picture she took with the doctor? Right. So that day, that's the day. So then, whatever day they found, we can figure out how long it was. But an unresponsive woman. Cruz took her to Mercy Hospital, where despite trying to resuscitate her, she was pronounced dead. Police tell us they and the medical examiner's office are investigating the circumstances surrounding the death and the case is in its preliminary state. Now, Mr. Akil was staying at the Homewood Suites in Miami. And in the report, it never actually stated who found her unresponsive, but it could have been somebody she was traveling with or a travel nurse that had been working with the facility yeah, or possibly an individual who worked for the hotel. But again, we don't quite know. Now, it stated that the... But she has so many friends. I can't imagine one of her friends not going with her there and making sure she was good. I'm thinking that she traveled with one of her friends, but I could be wrong. Responsive call happened just days mm -hmm. after she had gotten that elective surgery days, and she was having complications. Awful. And she now remember, awful. any elective mm -hmm. surgery, including dental surgery, comes with its complications. And just above, you can see the various complications that can occur with the mommy makeover that are included but not limited to bleeding infection, and poor healing of an incision. It also states below cardiac and pulmonary complication. And of course, it's your doctor's duty to be able to lessen the ability to have these type of complications, but nothing's foolproof. We're going to continue to track the story. And once the coroner is done with his preliminary report, we're going to have it here so we can that discuss That should put an end to all of this cosmetic what? body surgery that everybody's doing right there. Honey, like, you, you know, know what I'm saying? No, it has not. I, now that I... You know, been watching, you know, videos like this about Jackie O. It's like so I'm getting all these videos of all these women having complications in the hospital <clears throat> from having um, their surgeries. Uh, some of them had pneumonia, just all kind of crazy stuff, y'all. Um, so, yeah. Um, what else was I going to? Um, it was something else. Oh, my God. It's just slipping my freaking mind. Uh, yeah, it's no longer in my mind. I already told y'all, like, absolutely not. Mm -mm. It's just it not, shouldn't nobody be, not uh, worth it at yeah. all. Um, you know? Because if somebody going oh, to get a little I, bit I of remember. nothing surgery, like, obviously she wasn't doing hardly nothing. Um, Ma'am, I don't know your name. I'm sorry, but I saw your comment about, um, you said that you had been a nurse for a really, really long time, I think 35 years or something, I don't know, because I had told them that um, that particular surgery, the BBL surgery, is the most dangerous surgery because a doctor, a board-certified doctor, plastic surgeon said that, okay? Um, those weren't my words. I said it, but a doctor said that. But she said that is not the most dangerous surgery. The, um, there's a lot of other surgeries that are, you know, even more dangerous than that one. Heart surgery. You know, that sounds about right. Um, you probably, brain the surgery. The doctor you was talking about probably was talking about of the cosmetic surgeries. Oh, the in the cosmetic. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, that's probably what it was. Anyway, so. What? Everybody always got to be so cool. I know. It, it's okay. Everybody got an opinion. That's what the comment uh, section is for. So. Like, well, if I see people make a mistake matter. on the video, I don't even stop I know. what I'm doing. I don't either. You know what I'm saying? I ain't even that guy. I no literally don't shit. either. I guess some of some people shit. You know, they be, I guess they think that people are perfect. I don't know. But I just, mm, I literally just go with the flow and whatever I freaking hear, that's what I tell y'all. Now, a lot of times I tell y'all where I'm getting it from. It's they're not my words, but um, yeah. So it's still a very dangerous surgery. Very dangerous. Um, you know. But I didn't. I didn't want a BBL though. I had thought about it before. I ain't even gonna lie. But I wanted that that tummy gone. Somebody was like, um, uh. 
People just gonna have to accept me with my little pouch. I know that's right. Cause that's <laughs> me too. Shoot. Cause I ain't getting nothing done to it. Nothing. But you can uh minimize it though. I know that for a fact. So uh but yeah. So I get more information is gonna be coming out about Jackie O. Um it's just still so freaking sad. Like I haven't, we haven't heard anything from, um, uh, DC. Man, um, that's going to mess him up. He ain't, it, he ain't I mean, going to be able to be funny no more, bro. Like, come on. I'm thinking that, come that's on, what I was, I was thinking that he, he probably won't again. be able to work with, um, Wild and Out anymore. It, you know, like, I don't know. I hope he be okay because he still has to work. He has a family to take care of. Like, he takes care of a lot of people. He has an extended family that he takes care of too. So, you know. And three little babies, man. Mm -hmm. And I hope they got somebody taking care of um Jackie's YouTube channel, you know, or the kids. The kids had uh Nova, I know she had a YouTube channel. Um Girl, Jackie on has on, um <laughs> a website. She was selling her um lip glosses on Amazon. And I bought some, y'all, just to be supportive, um, you know. Yeah, so, it's just so freaking sad. My gosh. <sighs> anyway. Um, did y'all hear about the baby who was on the floaty? Did, did you see this? Mm -mm. This look... This little girl looked like she was about four years old. They was her, I guess her and her family was on the beach. And they're, the whole story is not out, um, but they're just like filming this little girl floating in the ocean on a unicorn floaty, y'all. She floating like without a care in the world. That little girl didn't know what was going on. She literally, from the beach, her family's at the beach, Floated away. How do your mama and them? She floated why, away. I'm they trying to didn't figure. Get it. Floated away. They didn't I'm get trying to them. figure out how, why wouldn't anybody in the ocean like swimming trying to get her? Like she's just floating in the middle of the ocean. Let me show you. Hold. On, let me turn the. Like, they was on the beach and she went out in the water and just. She was on a floaty. I get. She had to been with somebody. Oh, was they off of a boat? Is that the video? On the no, phone? this is a rescue. This is a rescue. It's a little girl, y'all, on a unicorn you floaty. A you know those big... Do they have a video You know that... On oh, that floaty I got out there. Isn't that you a unicorn? You got a video of it? Listen. Is that a unicorn floaty yeah. that I had? That. That. The big kind? Yeah. She was on one of those. Listen. Look at this, baby. This music, I don't even want y'all to hear it because it's going to make you bust out crying. Oh, and they Look, went fine. There's the oh, beach she... way back there. Wow. And thank God there was a boat, y'all. She's still on it, right? With a bunch of people on it. I don't know what kind of boat this was. It said, it said, oh, it was a ferry. It said the ferry was alerted to the fact that there was a young child stranded and alone on uh, her unicorn raft. That is messed up. Look at up, this. Bro. She was, and she wasn't alone. God was with her, baby. <laughs> like, can you Imagine look at how her? Scared she was, bro. I don't think she was scared. No. She was scared by this point. You think she was when scared? When you drifted away and you can't even see your people no more and you just out there, yeah. Look at this. Like, can you imagine? Wow. Y'all, she is out there in the you middle know, of the ocean. You know them parents in trouble. Hey, man. I'm trying to figure out, like, how did she get away from her parents? How no, did they that was, happen? Because they wasn't paying attention, obviously. You know what I'm saying? Bad parents like let her get out that far. For that they let her get long? out that far. Come on now. That don't even make no sense to me. Like that really doesn't. That they had to have, have seen that. Oh my God, she's out there well, and nobody's the, coming. If you go to the comment section, you're gonna get the whole spill. <laughs> no, you're not because they don't freaking know. But once you get past all the colorful comments, they got the top hearts. To the non-believers commenting on this video. I put nothing but God, honey, because that wasn't nothing but God. That was an angel. That was God. That was, oh, my goodness. You see? 
You heard somebody say, There's did you no... see her wave goodbye as she... Where? She turned back and waved goodbye. Did anyone notice, also, notice her wave goodbye as she looked back? There was definitely an angel with her. Oh, they thinking that she waved at an angel mm -hmm. that was with... Wow. Oh, my gosh. Everybody, like... Well, I, hold on. I just got to say this. I was bawling when I saw this. I mean, literally, because you, you, she should hear the, the music she with it. She was literally floating on the float. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's let's give the glory to the float. She floated on the damn what? float. What? <laughs> it was the float. the float. Just like she could float on the float in the pool. She floated all the way out there. It was the float that kept her alive. It was... No, <laughs> that was the Lord Jesus the, Christ that kept that baby alive from her float, falling bro. off. It, it, it was all of that. Like, <laughs> a shark could have came and, and, and did y'all see that shark that attacked that, that um, canoe looking boat that, that was in the middle of the ocean? That shark came so fast and put his whole jaws, had that whole boat in his mouth. Oh, God. Some that man could have died. What, he, he couldn't have literally go? died. No. The, yeah, oh, yeah. The, the shark let it go. Wow. Yeah. Woo. I mean, he came fast, too. Ah, and and had check. that whole freaking yeah. boat in thought his that, mouth. Thought it was something to eat. Yeah. That wasn't nothing but mm. God that, um, that mm. uh, you know, that saved that baby like that. Anyway. So, y'all, that's it. Gotta go. Um, y'all, these are 10 out of motherfucking 10. Y'all, when I tell y'all that meat was so, um, like tender, it was so tender, it was delicious. Oh my God. I got it from, I think I got it from either Kroger or H-E-B, one of those. It was amazing. Lady, do you want these tacos? No, thank you. You sure? Don't taste one. He just wants you to, uh... No, no, I will, no you wanted up. somebody. I wish I had somebody here to taste it. It is so. I, let's see if somebody else taste it. Well, she doesn't even want it. So, anyway. um, So, yeah. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure y'all are following me on Instagram and TikTok. You can see the look on what? his face. The guy that picked it up, that he's disgusted with the pig. Oh, very disgusted. You can tell. He was very upset. <laughs> he was like, and now where is some goddamn pig? Exactly. Exactly. I gotta yeah. stop my fairy to come rescue somebody. Where the hell is the mom and daddy at? How the child end up out here on no, the No, I think he was happy, very happy to rescue her. Yeah, but he, he was just her, he irritated. Was upset. Like, oh yeah. my God, what parent would let their child like I don't I don't understand it either, y'all. Honestly. I don't. I don't understand. Like that's the main thing you think about. When you're on a beach, you're thinking about your children and where they are. You're so alert because you don't want nothing to happen to them because you know anything can happen at the blink of an eye. And that's how I was when we was on the freaking beach. Like, I, you know, I know how kids like to go out in the water and, and, and they just, some of them just freaking drown. We don't, even, and you just, we don't even go deep enough to float in the water. You don't go deep enough to float in the damn ocean. There's animals that can snatch you and take you away. I, I was scared when Jaden was in the deck. When we went, um, we had that beach house. Mm -hmm. We was out there with um with Jay. We ain't go that deep. It was it was deep to me. You know what I'm saying? I go by it crotch deep. deep that's me. it, honey. And um yeah, I was scared, so scared, cause anything can freaking happen. Yeah, and then y'all, the sharks deep. are coming to the shore now. Oh yeah, that's and I'm done with crotch deep. What huh? is going on? Oh, all that done with it. And then gotta stay people out of that water. are. Like I keep seeing these videos of people in the in in the water, and then there's crocs in the water. Like you didn't know that there was crocodiles in the water. People who live in places no. where there's alligators and crocodiles I are crazy. Can. Like when me and my uncle went learn how to ski in in Houston River. Houston River is full of crocodiles in Louisiana. Really? I mean, not crocodiles, full of alligators. <laughs> <laughs> it's full of alligators. He, I, I was thinking about that the, the, like earlier today. What's the difference between the crocodile? And it's alligator. like different, slightly different. Alligators are smaller, mm. but like he went into some like back part of the of the Houston River, I guess, because number one, I didn't know how to drive a boat. That day, I learned how to drive a boat, mm -hmm. and I learned how to ski, and he learned <laughs> how to ski. That day? Yeah, that day. So he went to like some, you know. Section, you know, it wasn't a lot of traffic with boats, mm -hmm. so this was like definitely a section of Houston River where you would expect to find alligators. Mm -hmm. 
His logic was we ride up and back and forth a few times with the boat that'll scare him away. Now we good. Are you kidding? I think you tall as this. Yeah, well, yeah. Oh my God. And he no. got in and skied in this. I wanted to ski so bad I got in there. And I remember the fright, you know, just being scared. Like, I don't know if something's going to come grab me. Like, oh, when you fall, I heard him come get me. We risk our life to, to ski. It was that Baby, serious. Baby, please. You couldn't have convinced me. <laughs> Never, like you couldn't have. It's crazy. When me and my friends it's swam crazy. across Houston River, because we had went to one part of it. It was a huge river that ran through Louisiana, and there was like a little beach area, and we decided to swim across to the mm -hmm. other side. And then we get there, and my friend who was leading the way, he mm -hmm. turned around, he started swimming back to us, talking about alligator slide. It was an yeah, alligator. Yeah, he's you all, that? yeah. <laughs> Why was we even in the water knowing that it's <laughs> that is alligators? <laughs> Alligator slide is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the spot of the on the bank where the alligator come in and out of the water ends up a smooth mud. It's like a mud yeah, slide. That's how you know yeah. that alligators in the water. Man, I thought he was playing right now. He, <laughs> he, he, he was dog paddling. He, he turned around, and started coming back. Alligator slide, and I'm that looking at him in his face. I'm looking for him to be like, ha, I'm just playing and turn around, but no, he didn't. Mm. Oh my god, that was mm. the scariest swim back to the other side. I literally cannot. Never again. I ain't getting in no more yeah, water. Yeah, you ain't going to never catch me there. in nobody's wilderness where mm -hmm. there's possibly uh, bears. Anything they can eat you. <laughs> Anything. I won't do it. You can't <laughs> convince me. You can't pay me. Nothing. Mm -mm. Now, I'm surely not taking my kids. Like, I, you know, like, I don't understand people that take their kids on these trails. They little kids uh, to these, go camping in the woods where there's where bears. There's, it's called bear country. Crazy. Like what? Hey bear, hey bear. Like what is that gonna do? <laughs> what is that gonna do? Right. I don't understand people that go out there and don't have a piece with them. Or you know, something to something big. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Jeez, Cause what? uh mm. all the people that I seen this man on TikTok, he got his gun out. There's a mountain lion like creeping behind him. Stop like lying. like he about to get him. He got his gun and he like he don't want to shoot it. He like trying to Baby, please. the thing lunge at him and he shoots a warning shot. Stop Man, lying. I would have shot that thing so many times. Soon I, I know. As soon as I, I, I would detect it that you coming my way, I'm letting go. Are you kidding me? That is too <laughs> damn crazy. No fear and too much love no for these damn fear. wild animals. Stop loving these wild these animals that don't love you. Them animals will eat you. And stop being in their environment. That's theirs. <laughs> stop it. What they is know that too. People? They know that. <laughs> you are entering their home. It's not yours. It's I, not your. Go home. I seen the like, man one time. Like freaking go home. He was talking. He didn't have no more face no, no, no more. And he was like, what? The bear had not got him. He was like, no, no, don't be mad at the bear. It was his area. I was in his place. Like you know. Like, okay. I swear, people love Take to go lick. to dangerous places, and I will never understand it. Like Mount Everest, y'all. People be. All the time on that thing. Why would you want to go up there? It's too cold. You can't even breathe. Why? You're not getting paid for it. Why are you going up there? Just Why do you have to stand on the top of the what do you call it? I bet you can't climb up there. That's well, why. But what do you, but what do you call it? The the peak. Like the, yeah, the highest peak in the world, Mount Everest, yeah. Because because somebody Why do you, why do you, you have to go up there and stand up there? For what? Risk your like life why? to get up there and just to turn around and come back. And they said most people. And I don't know, you're not getting paid. It costs a lot they, of money to do this shit. Really? Like, yeah, you it gotta costs? Pay, yeah, because you got all, you know, bring the equipment with you and, you know, mm -hmm. all of this. And I heard it's hard to breathe up there. Yeah. And like, you're going why so would high you up, low oxygen. There? I don't know. Y'all yeah, saw this video on TikTok where some people weren't even alive anymore. And they were, uh, I don't know what was making them roll down the Mount Everest, but it was two of them rolling down. I got to wasn't even alive no more. Like, I was like, what? What a waste of a life if you are climbing mountains. <laughs> Whether you down the mountain or not, what a waste of your life. Because <laughs> who's paying? For that. Climbing like, a mountain, who cares? Unless you that's put your that job. energy towards doing something to help benefit mankind in some kind of way or something. Because that's not what is that doing? You're like you're you climbing a mountain. Some people want to be famous, though. You know, it's about being famous and being known for being the one 
who, you know, uh, my name's on the list. Add my name to the list. Yeah, that's a list for that shit. That oh, is crazy. Mercy. Bragging rights. Anyway, let go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please do what? Thumbs up this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. For everyday videos. Everyday videos. Hey, uh, 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 uh. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, uh. And we'll see you guys on tomorrow. Peace. Y'all come back now. Yeah. Bye, y'all.